Following the warm-up activity, we move on to a reading task to support incidental vocabulary learning. Our reading passage is one of the famous Aesop's fables, The Lion and the Mouse. These fables are open access on the website of the Library of Congress. The reason we chose this fable is because it is not long and it includes many nouns, action verbs, and adjectives that can be used while talking about animals. Teachers can ask students in class to read this fable out loud and then ask them to identify the actions, in other words, verbs that belong to the lion in the fable. Roar and rouse are two words in this fable. Teachers can also ask about the adjectives or nouns that are associated with the lion in the story. Strong and huge are the two adjectives, and paw and prey are the two nouns. These activities help learners see these related words all together in context. Following this fable, teachers can go back to a trivia game and practice the names of the animals, which are prey or predators, as well as the associated actions and traits of these animals. As a follow-up activity supporting intentional vocabulary learning, teachers can use a particular function of Google Docs for each student to create an engaging dictionary for themselves. Remember that Professor Ronali said it's perfectly acceptable to provide the definitions of new vocabulary in students' first language, especially at the beginning stages of learning. So, in our dictionary practice, teachers can ask learners to put the definition of words in their first language if they can. In our example, definitions are in Turkish. The definitions can also be provided in the target language depending on the levels of the students. In this dictionary, students can also choose one of the three options regarding their learning stage for a vocabulary item. Not learned, in progress, and learned. Students will play an active role in selecting and updating their learning stage. Students can also reorder their list of words in an alphabetical order to make their dictionary easy to use in the future, and they can add additional categories of information, such as the type of word, like nouns, verbs, or adjectives. Finishing the lesson, teachers can assign homework for students to practice the words from the lesson. This homework supports the incremental learning Professor Ronali talked about. Quizlet is a great platform for this purpose, since it allows students to study a set of words created by their teacher through digital flashcards, matching games, and tests. These features in Quizlet are free for teachers. In the following lessons, teachers can always go back to the Google Doc-based dictionary and the Quizlet activities to review the words that students just learned in the previous class session. Creating different activities with these technological tools can make vocabulary learning fun and help young learners learn the new vocabulary in an incremental way.